Hi everyone, I'm Kiroshni from year 60. I will be reading the story for you. Let's read and enjoy the story. What's that smell? By Ashwita Jayakuma. Tara and her family are home. It's good to be back, isn't it, Tara? says Ma. Tara nods. I'm hungry. Madhav rubs his stomach. Oh, so hungry, he says loudly. We have milk, eggs, bread, and vegetables in the fridge, says Ma. I'll cook dinner, says Pa. Pa, can you make fried rice? Asks Tara. Fried rice? Might have echoes. As soon as Tara, Madhav, Ma and Pa enter the house, they know that something is wrong. Very wrong. Gee, what's that smell? cries Tara. A monster, yes, Madhav. It's hot, dark, and stinky. The whole house smells. Where is the smell coming from? Ma checks the bedroom. Madhav checks the bathroom. Tara checks the dining room. Pa checks the kitchen. It's coming from there, says Pa. Pointing at the fridge. A stinky fridge monster? Guess Tara. Scared, says Madhav, hugging Ma. Let's open the fridge and see what's inside, says Ma. Ma opens the fridge. Everyone covers their noses and mouths. Hmm, it's warm inside. And the light is off, says Ma. Sticking her arm into the fridge. What happened? asks Tara. The fridge stopped working some time ago, Pa explains. Without the cold air, everything spoiled, says Ma glumly. Has the milk gone bad? asks Tara. Yes, can you smell how sour it is? asks Ma. Milk needs to keep cold to stay fresh, says Pa. Has the bread gone bad? asks Tara. Yes, do you see that green stuff? That's mold, says Pa. It grows on the bread. Fuzzy, says Madhav, curiously. Don't touch it, says Pa. You'll fall sick if you eat it. Have the vegetables gone bad too? Asks Tara sadly. Yes, they are rotten, says Ma. We can't eat them. Madhav picks up an egg and drops it. Madhav, now it smells even worse, shouts Tara. Oh no, these have gone bad too, says Pa. Tara is sure she can never eat eggs again. Yuck, yuck, yuck! Christ might have running away while Pa cleans up the mess. They put all the rotten food in two garbage bags and clear the fridge. 
Why did things go bad? asked Tara. Everything goes bad over time. It's because of microbes. Microbes are very tiny living things. They are around us. When it's warm, food goes bad faster because microbes multiply quickly. The cold air of the fridge keeps food fresh for longer and they multiply slowly, says Ma. Does all food spoil? asks Tara. Not this rice, says Ma. Or these potatoes, at least for a while. Not and not this pickle, says Pa. And not this G, says Ma. We can eat G rice and potatoes, says Tara happily. Dear friends, the moral of the story is manage with what you have. The scientific facts that we learn from the story is microbes multiply quickly in warm or hot temperature. Thank you.